The Horseman rides again in Guns and Black Powder. Uh, the Halloween event has returned with two cool new exclusive items, which is the returning uh, Jack O' Lantern from last year, as well as Le Revenant. It is a pretty cool sword reskin. And it's back, I guess. So, first you have to beat the Road to Sleepy Hollow, which instead of taking a potion from Leipzig, you now just vote for the Road to Sleepy Hollow like any other voting map. It's pretty simple, just run through. And when you get to the part after the house, you just want to sort of sprint your way through. You don't want to get caught by the horseman, because that's a pretty bad idea. And, you know, grind the skull up, and that one is pretty simple. However, when we get to the actual horseman, that is where things get very interesting. Because you go to Sleepy Hollow, he now has a couple new attacks like decapitation summoning his minions who can parry your attacks with their swords he can also trample you and throw his magical little pumpkins at you And of course, unlike last year, the semen isn't quite as good in this one. Because according to the patch notes, the blunderboss has an 80% damage resistance, so the horseman only gets 20% of the blunderboss's damage, 90% knockgun damage resistance, 50% rifle damage resistance, 65% navy pistol damage resistance, and 60% brass pistol damage resistance. So of course, you, I mean you have to shoot him, you can't melee him. But that is pretty difficult to do. But if you beat the Road to Sleepy Hollow and then Sleepy Hollow in one life, you unlock the secret badge, the Revenant. And if you just beat Sleepy Hollow, you get the that you get the Jack O' Lantern. There you go. Please, take this accursed thing. I don't know where you got it from, but I don't want it. <sighs> the sword is pretty epic. It's engraved. It's got, Le Rev it's got Revenant, like, um, engraved in the side. It is pretty cool. It's got unique sounds as well. The jack-o'-lantern is not as cool, but it is still uh, reasonably useful in some maps and some specific circumstances, but you just prefer to bring grenades or something else. And that was just a quick sort of information, I guess, about the Halloween event, the items you can get from it. So you can gauge whether it's worth it or not. I reckon it's worth it for the Revenant, but you make your own decisions. 